weekly look into the video vault. You reach in there for a little Holly's history, and this time you're remembering a strange story that I guess had everyone talking here in town 20 years ago. It was certainly the buzz. That was a while back. It was a small episode in the life of a hotel that's been around several decades, but it was at the top of the news in 1988. We're talking about a secret room in the Imperial Palace that went public in a big way, but First, a little bit of background. The property just north of the Flamingo first opened as the Flamingo Capri back in 1959, a modest alternative to its more glamorous namesake next door. These pictures are courtesy of Mike Quinlevan with the Casino uh, Chip Gaming Token Collectors Club and show a modest low-rise property with a swimming pool and later some fountains out front. Well, in 1971, it was purchased by contractor Ralph Engelstadt and in 1979 was rethemed in a Japanese motif with a new tower and reopened as the Imperial Palace, known for, among other things, its enormous antique auto collection. 20 years ago, though, it was suddenly thrust into the limelight for another reason when word leaked of a secret Nazi memorabilia room with a collection of knives, portraits, and other Third Reich collectibles. It was alleged that Hitler birthday parties were held there in 1988. Ralph Engelstad later made an apology for the room, denounced Hitler, and said it was a misunderstanding about collect collectibles. He uh, they, uh, ended up uh, agreeing to a $1.5 million fine by the Nevada Gaming Commission for giving the industry a black eye. Engelstad eventually put the episode behind him. He became a major donor to his alma mater, the University of North Dakota, and was a big part of developing the Las Vegas Motor Speedway in the 90s. Engelstadt died in 2002 and the Imperial Palace was sold to Harris by his widow three years later. The secret Nazi memorabilia room is long gone. It's just one of those odd little episodes in Las Vegas history. Well, let's get to the here and now of what's happening in Las Vegas and take you out on the roadways.